And the reason why I was the coach at BU for 40 straight years is because they had great assistants who got great players to come to BU. Because you don't keep your job if you don't have great players. Yep. <laughs> and I, had a, and I ho- had a whole bunch of them. And I would have a hard time picking an all-star team. You know, who, who was the better center iceman? You know, Sean McEachern or, or Ricky Mahar? Who was, or, or, or Chris Drury, you know? Or, who was the better right wing, Mike Greer or Tony Amante? You know, it, it would be it would be almost impossible to to pick yeah. that type of thing for me. But there's one guy that stands out that, is, without question, is my hero, and and that's Travis Roy. Uh, and I, I I know probably a lot of the college hockey people, but maybe the national audience doesn't know who Travis was. But Travis was a highly recruited kid out of Maine who played at Tabor Academy, was a really good player, probably would have been an NHLer. Uh, and he came to BU his freshman year, and the very first, we were played not the Dakota, we were the defending national champions. Yep. And he could hurt his very first shift. Uh, playing on the left wing for Chris Drury, as a matter of fact. And, yeah. Uh, and to this day, he's he's my favorite player. He played 11 seconds, and he's my favorite player because he's, he's my hero. I mean, he, he, nobody sure. has gone, nobody has faced as much adversity that I know of, has faced as much adversity in his life, in his life as Travis has and emerged with being a hero out of it like he has. It's, it's an unbelievable story. 